Howdy! My name's Edward, and I'm the president of Valarm. Valarm is an app that uses external and internal sensors to help you do remote monitoring. Today we will be building a remote environmental monitoring box. Here's an overview of what makes up a Valarm remote environmental monitoring box and how it's all connected. Starting at the solar panel, you'll need 6 to 18 volts of solar power. Anything higher, like 24 volts, might overheat the system. There's a waterproof connection to connect your solar power and a cable gland where the waterproof cable enters the box. Now we're inside of the box and a step down voltage converter brings the voltage from the solar panel down to 6 volts and then 6 volts goes into the solar charge controller that was made especially for lithium ion batteries like the 3.7 volt battery attached here. On the other side, the solar charge controller sends power out to the step up controller. Since the battery is 3.7 volts, this step up brings it up to 5 volts for USB power. Then we have a USB connection into our custom Y cable that takes power into one end and then provides power out to the USB sensor or hub as well as your dedicated Android device running the Valarm Pro app. One end of the Y cable goes out of the box where you have a cable gland, a waterproof joint, and then the USB cable plugs into a Yoctopus sensor outside of the box. Back at the Y cable, after everything else is plugged in, you connect your dedicated Valarm equipped device to monitor anything, anywhere. To make your own Valarm compatible remote environmental monitoring box, you'll need an OtterBox waterproof dry box, like the yellow and blue ones you see in this video. The first step is to drill holes in the bottom of the box. You will put weatherproof cable glands in these holes and weatherproof cables that connect to your power source, such as solar panels, and your USB sensor, such as air quality, CO2, VOCs, temperature, humidity, or any other Valarm compatible sensor. Drill these holes a few times to make a nice clean hole. Next, use a device like a Dremel to smooth out each of these holes so your cable glands fit nicely. If you need to increase the size of the holes a little bit, you can use the Dremel to do that too. There are three holes in these boxes to allow for two sensors and one power source. If you're only using one sensor and one power source, then you'll only need to drill two holes. You can periodically check if the size of the hole fits your cable gland. You'll want to get the holes just barely big enough to fit the cable glands, since we don't want any water or other items to get inside the box. Once you've got all of your holes sized for your cable glands, place all of the glands in your box. Then tighten them down by placing the hex pieces of the glands on the inside of the box and twisting it tight. Now you've made the outer part of your remote environmental monitoring box. Next, you'll set up the inside of the box to work with the Valarm Pro app running on a dedicated Android device. Take your weatherproof cable connectors and slide them into the weatherproof cable glands on the box and tighten them down. The two-wire cable is for DC power, and the four-wire cable is for a USB sensor. This provides you with a waterproof connection for getting data to the Valarm app from an external sensor and also provides power from sources outside of the box, like solar panels. Now place your solar lithium ion charge controller in the bottom of the box. The one you see here is from Adafruit. Then put your step up voltage converter on the side of the box. This brings a 3.7 volts battery power up to 5 volts for USB power. When power comes into the box from external sources, like solar panels, it may be higher than 6 volts, so you'll place a step-down converter inside the box to bring down the voltage to 6 volts. We've used double-stick tape here to stick things in the box, but you're welcome to use whatever material you see fit. You'll solder on a JST 2-pin cable connection to your battery if it doesn't already have one. In this example, we're using a 3.7 volt Tenergy lithium-ion battery. After soldering, slide your heat shrink wrap over the negative and positive cables, then get out your heat gun to shrink the shrink wrap onto your cables. After this, solder your step-down and step-up voltage converters, and then shrink the heat shrink wrap. We highly recommend using flux paste for all your soldering iron work. If you don't know what flux paste is, look it up and try it out. It's quite amazing. Use wire cutters and a wire stripper to isolate a full-size male USB plug on the short end and a micro USB male plug on the long end. 
Solder the full-size male USB plug into a 4-wire weatherproof cable connector in the box, which will eventually plug into the Y cable inside of the box. Solder the male micro USB end of the cable onto the 4-wire weatherproof cable connector outside of the box. Cover everything with heat shrink wrap and use your heat gun to protect all of your custom-made cables. You'll end up with a box like this where you can put a dedicated Android device with the Valarm Pro app to do remote environmental monitoring with sensors of your choice. All of your data is uploaded to tools.valarm.net using an internet connection through cell networks or Wi-Fi and you can set custom thresholds for triggering text message and email alerts. This diagram shows the equipment and connections for the Valarm box. You can also watch the first minute of this video again for an overview of how everything is connected. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to contact us at info at